On to California now, where the latest round of storms that has battered that state has now turned deadly. A man was killed when a tree fell onto his van just south of San Francisco. The high winds brought down the trees and the wires throughout the Bay Area, while millions of people were under flood watches. Janet Shamlian has more. Hurricane-like winds are causing huge waves in the San Francisco Bay, knocking down trees and forcing pedestrians to run for cover. And nothing like I've ever seen before here in San Francisco. Across California Tuesday night, almost 250,000 people were without power. Wind gusts up to 80 miles per hour made one reporter's job almost impossible. Very difficult to stand, so I'm going to get back inside the vehicle. On the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, traffic was snarled for hours when a big rig overturned. The ground has become so saturated, a retaining wall on this northern California interstate gave way, causing the road to sag. Our designers are looking at it right now. Our structural engineers are looking at it right now. Meanwhile, rain-swollen streams are washing out roads in Southern California. This SUV got carried 100 yards downstream after the driver got stuck and managed to escape. Torrential rain is also bearing down on the area's hard-hit mountain communities, where it's expected to turn to snow as temperatures drop. Uh, we're just hoping that it doesn't snow as much as it did last time. For CBS Mornings, I'm Janet Shamlian in Los Angeles.